I'm hoping that this video kind of helps us get stuff in perspective. Hey everybody, welcome back to Princess Friend. I'm your host, Princess Friend. Today is going to be a little bit of a rant video, so if that is not what you are into, please feel free to click away. But if you are interested in discussing the current state of the Princess State and everything that's going on, please feel free to stick around. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe and like this video, hit the bell notification, and all that stuff. So I've been doing this channel for almost three years now. Very, very cool. I love doing it, and it's an amazing experience. However, there's been an increased amount of comments that essentially say we don't care about anything happening in the Prince world unless it's new music from the vault. And that's kind of what this video is for. I'm going to try and break down all the pieces and kind of explain to you why this is a very kind of black and white, good, bad, and also kind of the wrong way to think about what's going on right now. Now, of course, when Prince was around, Prince was a single man, he made all the decisions, and that worked for him. He did an amazing job reinventing how to distribute music, getting his message out there, he did charities, he did all of these different things, and I think he should be commended on the amount of work that he put into not only himself and his brand, but also his music, and fostering other acts and bringing them into the limelight, and helping other people grow, and all kinds of stuff. Prince was an amazing entrepreneur and person. So with all of that said, Prince is no longer with us. So we do kind of need to take that love that we have for Prince and his messages and everything, and we need to tuck that in our back pocket, okay? Moving forward, the Prince estate has control over everything Prince. Now that Prince estate is Comerica, we know that the Prince siblings in Comerica have had a lot of issues and they fight, but whatever, they are going to be the ones to make the final decisions on what we get going forward. And we might not always agree with that, but that is kind of the case. However, the Prince estate has a lot of hands and a lot of cookie jars, a lot of irons on the fire, a lot of insert other metaphor for doing lots of things and multitasking. So let's first talk about Paisley Park. There are a lot of different things going on at Paisley Park. Now Paisley Park is run by the same people who run Graceland and that is its own separate entity now, the Prince Estate oversees it, but it is run. Paisley Park is a separate entity. So announcing something at Paisley Park is not them taking focus away from releasing music. Also, speaking about Prince's Estate and speaking about Paisley Park is not the same as talking about Prince's siblings. Prince's siblings are, I guess, the PRN family. They actually have very little control over anything at this point. The six siblings are the ones that once everything is done and settled in the courts, they will get control of it, but right now, they don't have it. That's why we have so many stories of them fighting with the estate. That's why we have so many of these things where they are speaking out or they're doing tours or they're doing, you know, all of these different things, but they are their own entity separate from the estate and separate from Paisley Park as it stands right now. So, for instance, the video that I released last week with Paisley Park filing for the color purple as a trademark, there were a few comments that said, oh, Prince's siblings are so money hungry. That didn't make any sense. The siblings have nothing to do with that. So we do need to kind of take a step back and we need to learn how to digest the information. We need to know who the people are who are in charge of everything. That would be the Prince estate. The Prince estate is overseeing a lot of different things. So now let's move on to the music, the music that we all want, right? So the Prince Estate has signed deals with Sony Records, Legacy Records, and Tidal. Those are the three that we know of right now. There might be more later on, who knows? So Sony now has the rights, the license, whatever you want to say. They now, the deal says, they can release all of Prince's previously released works and anything that has been unreleased up to this point, and they're going to be in charge of that now. There are a few caveats there with some stuff that Warner Brothers has control over because they were part of soundtracks and whatnot, but for the most part, Sony now is in charge of that. So Sony took that, and they gave the responsibility for releasing all of the existing Prince works to a sub-company called Legacy Recordings. So now we have Sony and Legacy Recordings working as two separate entities. So when news comes out of, hey, they're going to reissue this album or that album, the Musicology 3121 and Planet Earth, 
vinyls just came out last week. Uh, everybody was very excited, but there were a lot of people who said, but what about the new music? Hey, if Legacy Recordings is doing their job, they should be commended. Sony is the one that's in charge of releasing the new music. But I got the same thing when they released videos on YouTube. But we've already seen these videos release stuff we haven't seen. We got the same thing when they re-released all of the albums on streaming platforms. But I want new music. Well, I don't want this stuff. I already have this stuff. And I did a video back then that said, if you already have all the stuff, then it's not for you. And that's fine. <laughs> but the big thing here is we really need to understand that it's no longer one person doing everything. There are a ton of companies and people in each of these different sections of the Prince estate that are doing completely different things. And it might not happen in the order or at the speed that you are looking for or that I'm looking for, but we shouldn't say, I don't care about what this thing is doing because I want this thing. I think that they're all different and I think that they're all important. And yes, getting that music out. Let's get that music out. We really want that. And we're going to get that. We've been told we're going to get an album from Tidal this year. There's probably going to be another release from Sony later. They just started some new uploads to the Prince YouTube channel with the Musicology Live performance. So hopefully that's going to start a new trend. On the whole, I think everybody just needs to take a chill pill. Everybody needs to take a deep breath and say, everything is going to happen the way it's supposed to happen. Prince was a big proponent of that. We have to go through what we go through in life so that we end up exactly where we're supposed to end up. So the Prince estate is overseeing a lot of different things. And just because one thing is happening in the left hand doesn't mean the right hand isn't still working. And of course, if you really don't care about anything but the music, then that's fine. But I don't think that we should discourage the Prince estate from trying to do a lot of different things. If we want Prince's legacy to be out there, and technically it's already out there, but if we want it spread even further and wider, then they're going to need to take chances. They're going to need to try different things. And that's actually one other thing that I got a lot in my video about the color purple last week. It was if Prince didn't pursue a trademark on the color purple while he was alive, why should they bother? And I think we all need to tread carefully when we start to try and assume what people wanted. What if Prince really did want to do that and just didn't have the time or didn't seek legal counsel in time, you know, before he died? What if he never thought of it? it and I actually mentioned that in the video. It, it does make sense for the estate to try to do that. It's just a hard legal case to make. But it seems like every little piece of news that comes out about Prince, and we all do want people to be talking about Prince, we want there to be Prince news. But it seems like every time something comes out, there's always somebody to say, I don't care, I only want the music. All of these things, the Prince estate, the Prince siblings, Paisley Park, Sony Records, Legacy Recordings, Tidal, they're all pieces of a single puzzle that is the continuation of Prince's legacy and getting out those future albums. That's actually the thing, is that everything that the Prince estate is trying to do is to try and get the recognition and the financial support and everything to start releasing a ton more albums. Now, whenever somebody says, oh, that's just the estate being money hungry, yes, they do want the money so that they can continue the Prince estate, get those albums out, start having all of these different things for us. So them wanting money isn't a bad thing. We live in a capitalist society. That's just the way that it works. I don't think that anybody should be faulted for wanting to get money. That said, them trying to go for the trademark of the color purple is not Sony trying to do that. It's not the Prince siblings trying to do that. I don't even know if it's the Prince estate specifically trying to do that as the news articles read more that it was Paisley Park individually trying to do that. So there's a lot of different factors involved. I feel like everybody needs to just have a little bit more of a balanced approach. And I think that going forward into 2019, I think there's going to be a ton more news that's going to be hitting us. And I think that we should have more of a response to the news than I don't care. I just want the music. So yes, this was pretty ranty and I apologize for that, but it was just something that was on my mind. It's been wearing on me and I kind of just needed to get that out. 
Hopefully you kind of understand where I'm coming from. If you don't, we can always talk about it more in the comments, as I have in the comments of many of my other videos. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Of course, we do post different stuff different places. If you want to support the channel directly, you can check us out at patreon.com slash princessfriend, where you can, for as little as $2 a month, keep us running and have us continue putting stuff out. It really makes the difference. Otherwise, may you live to see the dawn. I look forward to bringing you so much more news and discussion in this new year. Have a good one.